Well, are we ready for our scavenger hunts? Yes. Yes. So, no. I would like you to find something, wait for it, that makes you really happy. Mm. Caleb, you've got three remote controls with you. Tell us why those make you happy. Because this one's for Netflix and this one's for Sky and this one's for whatever Gideon wants to watch. Cool. Most of us love a bit of telly time, don't we? Nathan, tell us why what you've got there makes you happy. Um, smoothies. Yum. Well, if you could choose an emoji to show what would make you most happy in life, I wonder which face or thing you would choose. Um, Bella, you tell us what, which of these uh, would you think could make you happy in life? Um, strong. Being strong. Being strong. I put that picture as to show us being healthy, perhaps. Yeah? Yeah, because um, mo I play with all the boys and um, they say you've got to be strong and, like, fast. Well, I am fast, but I'm not that strong. So well, you should work on that, can't you? Especially when you get bigger, you're able to get stronger then. So uh, that's something to work on. Well done. Abigail, tell us which of these would make you happy in life, do you think? Pizza. Pizza. Some of us would simply be happy if our life was full of pizza. Um, How about you, Florence? Um, well, the, you know the birthday party emoji? I'd like my 10th birthday to go well this year. I really, 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 really want my 10th birthday to go well. So Did that make you happy? Because my friend's supposed to be coming over. Well, in our Bible story today, we're going to hear what Jesus said about who it is that is truly happy or blessed in life. And as you listen, think about what emoji faces you would give to the people that are described in this true story. God's story, the Sermon on the Mount. So part of God's story is about a sermon Jesus gave on the side of a mountain and what he did afterwards. And it goes like this. One day, when Jesus saw crowds gathering to hear him teach or see him do miracles, he went to the side of a mountain. It was near the Sea of Galilee, across from a place called Capernaum. From there, he gave a message all about God's kingdom and his love. We call this message the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus started by explaining who would get blessings or favor from God. He said the most blessed people are those who are poor, sad, or humble. He said God shows favor to people who are just or treat others fairly, and people who are merciful or show love to those who don't deserve it. He said the people who are pure, who bring peace, or who get hurt for doing right will be rewarded for their actions in heaven. In other words, the people who love others, even when it makes them seem weak or unimportant on earth, are like heroes in God's kingdom. Anyway. So Jesus is telling us here that truly happy people are those who belong to the kingdom of heaven, who are living out God's goodness as we look forward to our heavenly home. So Jesus firstly talks about those who are poor in spirit, doesn't he? Take this apple here. Can you all see this apple? So being poor in spirit is to know that we are like an old windfall apple. It might kind of look quite nice from the outside, but actually is absolutely rotten to the core. And when we recognise that we are, are sinful through and through, when we cry tears of sorriness, to God, when we admit to him that we need his forgiveness, that is where Jesus says we can find true happiness. So these are the people who Jesus says God welcomes into the kingdom of heaven. 
So people who are trusting not in themselves and their own goodness, but in Jesus and his perfect life and death for us. It makes me really happy knowing that my place in heaven is certain, not because of anything I've done, but because of what Jesus has already done for me. So these are the same people who Jesus calls the pure in heart. So they've been given a new heart that has been cleaned up by Jesus. These are the people who Jesus says hunger and thirst for righteousness, who want to and are able to live out something of God's goodness because we have God's spirit living in us. And even when others give us a really difficult time because we live very different lives to those around us, we can even be happy then. It makes me happy to be mocked by others because of Jesus, because it reminds me that I really do belong to him and that one day I will be with him forever. I wonder what makes you happy? Where are you looking for happiness in life? Jesus says, happy are those who belong to the kingdom of heaven, living out God's goodness as we look forward to our heavenly home. Jesus has made me happy. How about you? That's something you can talk to about in your family shortly when you look at your worksheets uh, and do your craft together. But we're now going to sing a song, Mighty, Mighty Saviour. And I love the words of this song because it reminds me why no one can make us happier than Jesus. No one is good. No one is holy before God. I need someone to cleanse me. No one is pure. No one is righteous in your sight. I need someone to save me. So I'm now going to pass on to Sue Lemaitre, who's going to lead us in our prayers this morning, and then Tim Delacour will read to us from the Bible. <laughs> 